Welcome everyone. Ahmed Shukri, a Rege Boost Sales Engineer. Rege finally cracked the code and delivered what the market has been asking for. Now, our Rege bridges, including our EST series and the Air Metro series, can work seamlessly together in a single unified topology. And the setup process is easier than ever before. Today's setup can be done with just one click. And because there is so much valuable information to be covered, we have decided not to back it all into one long video. This is the first video in a full series dedicated to Regé Bridges. Now, before we dive into the real world demo setup, let me share some valuable information to help you better understand Regé Bridge solution. This will give you a solid background and make it much easier to apply the concepts in your upcoming projects. Stay tuned. In the first slides where we can find that the EST 450G is designed to act as a base station. It's fully compatible with the new EST series, including models like EST330F-P, EST350G. What makes it even more powerful is its interoperability with the Air Metro series, enabled through TDMA technology, allowing seamless communication between different product lines. But that's not all. The new EST series also maintains backward compatibility with previous generations like the EST310 version 2 and EST350 version 2, making upgrades easier without replacing your existing setup. And of course, we cannot forget one of the most exciting features, the new EST series support SON, Regie Intelligent Self-Organizing Network, protocol providing faster, smarter, and more efficient deployment. Now let's compare the point to multi point capabilities. If the EST 450G is used as a base station, it can connect with up to 16 CPE devices. On the other hand, if you use an Air Metro device as a base station, it supports up to 32 CPEs. So, depending on your scale, both options provide strong performance, with Regi giving you the flexibility to scale based on your project needs. The EST 450G comes with a built-in directional antenna, offering 120-degree coverage. So, no need for external antennas, ensuring a clean and weatherproof outdoor installation. In this slide, we illustrate some real-world deployment distances using EST 450G at the base station and connecting to an EST330F-P. The range is around 3 km. When connected to an EST350G, the range extends up to 5 km. This makes EST450G ideal for both mid-range and long-distance point-to-multi-point setups. Here is a clear compatibility table for quick reference. If EST450G is a base station and you are using EST330F-B as a CPE, it supports point to multi point with up to 16 clients at 3 km range. If both ends use EST330F-B, the setup becomes point to point with the same 3 km range. Now, here is our real-world demo setup. This unit is the EST450G, which will serve as the base station for our wireless spread. It will be connected to our PoE switch, which is NPS series, connected to our gateway, one of our EG series. Once we power on the EST and connected it to the network, we will open the Regi Cloud. Now, when we check Regi Cloud, we will see a red icon on the project name. That means a new device has been detected. Tap the project, go to View Topology, and you will find the notification. 
The AST 450G is Uto discovered. Just tap add and it joins your network in seconds. But here is the best part. SOM is not limited to the cloud. You can also discover and add devices locally. Simply access the local network. Wait a moment and you will find a notification. Devices outside your network have been discovered. Tap to add the EST 450G and it's instantly onboarded. Now go back to the cloud, refresh the topology and it's already there, fully connected. Now let's move to the second unit, the EST 330F-P, which will act as the CPE. This unit will be connected to a separate network, which consists of a PoE switch, NPS series, with no gateway and no internet access. Once it powers on and the latest applies this, you cannot check the latest status here, please. We will go back to the main bridge unit, which is EST. 450G. Although they are different models, the process is still incredibly easy. Just press on the pair button on the EST 450G. Within seconds, you will notice the little change on the EST 330F-P, confirming the pairing. Check the LED status here, please. The second unit will now be detected automatically, either through the Regia Cloud or the local e -Web, thanks to the SOM. On the cloud, simply press Add Device and it becomes part of the same unified topology. The main base station, the CPE, and the connected NBS switch. Now that the two bridge units are successfully connected and online, and also the NBS switch here becomes online, here's where Regé takes things a step further to support our clients in reducing cost and complexity. Instead of needing to install additional expensive industrial PoE switches or outdoor enclosures just to power IP cameras, Regé bridge unit comes with built-in PoE out ports. That's right. You can power your IP cameras directly from the bridge itself. And not just one, you actually get two PoE out ports on our EST 330F-P model. So all you need to do is connect your IP camera to the LAN PoE out port on our bridge unit. And you are done. Let me show you how it looks like inside our Regi Cloud. Just press on display items, then press on wired clients. Click refresh. You will see the IP camera show up automatically as a wired client. Open the client list. Go to wired clients. You will find the camera listed here with its assigned IP address. Now let's activate one of my favorite features. NAT Traversal and this allows you to access the camera's web interface remotely. Get the IP, go to device configuration, then press on NAT Traversal. Add the tunnel, enter the IP, or easily you can select the client. Press OK, enable and the press on open. With just a few clicks, you are inside the camera's interface. No port forwarding, no public IP required. No need to subscribe to static IP services. Just seamless, hassle-free connection 
and all through the Rage Cloud. All right, my friends, I will wrap it up here, and this is just the first episode in our bridge series and i don't want to make it too long so you can stay focused and enjoy the journey i really hope you found it useful and see you in the next video